Hi guys and welcome to Symbol Tech Working Bench. Today we have another project, it's everything in this box, it's a kit, same I got it from AliExpress. It's a helpful amplifier, so without further ado, let's set the camera close to my working bench and start looking closer to this uh, project. So let's see unbox this, uh, unbox this uh, kit which I received from AliExpress a while ago. I'm gonna put the video over here of the mailbag video when I receive it and you're gonna find also in that video the link from where I get it so you're gonna see also the price I pay on so let's get the box aside let's open this kit so we have a bag of parts and a PCB board and now we can uh, undo this uh, PCB board to have a closer look to the PCB board so I really like because the seller put this uh, foil around like that they don't co get corroded the soldering and soldering joints over here and it's more protected so what we can see here we have uh, a dual uh, rail transformer and it says here to go to AC12012 then we have the smoothing capacitors over here with the rectifier and we have a voltage regulator here, voltage regulator over here then we have uh, TIP41 uh, power transistors on the output side and we have here some small components over there so let's put the board aside and let's have a closer look also to the parts so I'm gonna go slowly here okay so let's get the bug aside so we have the smoothing capacitors which are Rubicon and are good capacitors yeah Rubicon they are doing good capacitors so I have uh, 2200 microfarads at 16 volts I ordered some uh, other capacitor at 25 volts because I would like to try to power with more higher voltage so that's why in today I will not do the power supply because anyway I'm gonna power this one with my bench regulated power supply straight away on the positive and negative and ground from the amplifier so I'm gonna leave all the power supply for later on when I'm gonna receive those capacitors and we're gonna see a few resistors over here yeah they are not uh, the usually one that you get from Aliexpress the bluish are a bit darker and definitely maybe are better quality so a bunch of resistors around over here I'm gonna select them separately a bit okay so we have some uh, diodes over there diodes again resistors again one diode which is uh, around the lawn rectify uh, rectify sorry uh, some heat sinks over here because uh, the power transistor they require some uh, heat sinks over there more these capacitors for the power supply then I have uh, some JB capacitors over here 100 microfarads they were gonna be definitely part of the amplifier some resistor again capacitors over there then I have uh, go through my stock because I have plenty of these uh, transistors tip 41 with goldish pin and are old stock so definitely are originals are not a Chinese knockoff of uh, transistors so maybe I'm gonna use these ones because the ones that they to supply the seller supply are these ones and let me have a look so I can see are these ones let's see if the camera can focus so our uh, T41C and well, uh, I'm not sure if are original, so that's why I'm gonna be confident on using mine ones, those ones. 
And we have a LED that shows the power, a bunch of these capacitors, lots of them. <laughs> then uh, some other, some trim ports, I think that's one for the DC of the regulating. And things that uh, belongs to the heat sinks over here, the potentiometer, the volume potentiometer over here, and other small transistor and some connectors. And then again, I think I'm gonna do the soldering off camera to don't bother you when I'm soldering over here and then uh, definitely we're gonna try to continue the video with, uh, when everything is almost assembled. Anyway, if I come with some issues during the soldering process, definitely I'm gonna let you know guys to pay attention on that particular things. And as usually, the seller doesn't provide any schematic, any information in how to build this one. So it's in your own. Anyway, I selected some components over here. These one are the <coughs> Zener diode, uh, where we have here two Zener diode, 2.7 volts. So you can see there one and one there. These diodes are one four no four one four eight. Each are signal diodes is coming over there. Then the resistors over the place. So I'm gonna start myself with the diodes and working out with the resistors, then with the capacitors and then with the final transistor. So as I say, I'm gonna do this one off camera, I don't want to bother you because maybe get bored. And uh, we're gonna come back if in case I face any issues with the components or those ones, I'm gonna let you know guys uh, while I'm building this stuff. So all the diodes and resistors are in place. One thing I want to mention, because uh, these two are 220 kilo ohm, which are one from left channel, one from the right channel. Testing them, there is a very high tolerance between them. So one is 222K and one is one 220K. So there is 2K tolerance between them. So I go into my stock and I find uh, two equal, like that the left and right channel, they will gonna be perfect balanced because as I say, no schematic provided. I don't know what they are doing this uh, resistor, but I prefer it to be equ equally like left channel 220, right channel 220. So yeah, now I'm gonna go with the, the small capacitors, these ones and these ones and the small transistors. All the film capacitors are also in and start looks really nice. Next one, what shall I do? I think I'm gonna go with the small transistors to fit them in and then with the electrolytic capacitors and for the last I'm gonna put the power transistor in. So, let me do also that one. All the capacitors are also electrolytic are in, connectors, potentiometer, also the trim ports which, uh, see there is no instruction what they do. They do DC offset or they set up the current, see, I need to find uh, some uh, research on the internet to see if I can find any information what these two do, because they can do two things, they can do the DC offset to, to set up to zero on the output, or they can also set up the current for the transistor, so that one I'm not sure. I will not solve that neither the um, LED, because why am I do this uh, project? So first of all, I want to build it, to test it, to see if it's really working nice and really do a nice sound. And then after, I'm gonna definitely complete the project with a nice enclosure, with the transformer, with all the rectifier board. And also here I was thinking because our uh, fixed regulator voltage, I'm gonna might do different with LM. Uh, 317 and 337 to regulate the voltage because maybe I can boost the voltage more and do more performance with this. So we're gonna see in other episodes about that one. So let me now carry on on mounting the power transistors and I think it will gonna be ready for a test. And here we go, ready to test. So I already put some cable to connect these resistors. Our 56 ohm resistor, 2 watts. I'm pretty sure are perfect to do as a dummy load for these ones because most of the headphones they have 32 ohms or 80 ohms something like that so I'm gonna do with this one as a dummy load and we're gonna connect to the oscilloscope to see how that performs I already soldered some fly wires over here because I said I'm gonna use my working bench uh, dual ray power supply which I uh, made it in one video I'm gonna put it over here if you want to watch it how I build it just have a look and then um, 
everything is in place as I say with the regulators in case of this one perform rise I'm gonna use LM317337 instead of LM7812 and LM7912 which are fixed and you are not sure if are calibrated to give you the the right voltage on the left uh, on the uh, minus uh, rail and positive rail so that's why I'm gonna use those one because you can adjust with the trim port the exactly voltage and put on balance so let me hook up to oscilloscope everything here and then run some tests okay so let me explain what I connect over here so I connect uh, channel 1 in one channel of the in let's see in the right channel from the amplifier and uh, yeah, uh, channel 2 which is yellow on uh, the other channel of the amplifier and I'm injecting with this one signal the same signal in both channels to see if the both channels are running in the same way so I set up the 500 millivolts RMS on the input with 1 kilohertz so if we turn on and if we do a auto set over here let's have a look what it, this one do so if I have 500 millivolts with the volume ported max on the output I have 5 volts RMS so 10 times let's see if we can increase and uh, up to when start clipping already start clipping so both channels in the same times yeah both channels in the same times so we are about there with 600 let's see 660 millivolts rms with the uh, 6.7 uh, volt rms on the output so if we do some math let's see how many watt power we get so we say that we have uh, 6.7 times 6.7 and divide at uh, 52 ohm because I have 52 ohm resistor and we have 0 0.86 watt power on this load. Oh, and the signal is very clear. Now let's run also a frequency response test. Okay, so let's go down to 10 Hz and we start from 10 Hz. So I'm gonna select Hz and we're gonna turn on and we're gonna do a auto set over here and let's see what's happening. Okay, so 10 Hz, it's really nice and we have a drop just half millivolt because it was 6.7 and now it's 6.2 so it's not that much drop voltage and then uh, let's go and see how it's handling we are already in the maximum uh, RMS power 50 Hz 60 running this keep well and the, the signal really clear you can see the signal is really clear we are in 100 Hz over here we are now on 500 Hz the output power still the same 1 kilohertz the output power still the same 2 kilohertz 3 kilohertz 4 5 kilohertz 7 kilohertz and the scene wave is still nice same power 10 kilohertz the signal still nice same power so we are in 15 kilohertz and we start dropping a bit on power so we have only 6.6 .6 now it was in 6.7 but I like the signal still clear 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 we are now on 20 kilohertz and the power is 6.5 so start dropping a bit 22 kilohertz now 6.5 so 30 kilohertz and we have 6.2 like in the 10 hertz so it's really handling very nice the frequency response so yeah i really like how it's going at 30 kilohertz the the bottom side it's not that much clear how you can see there definitely something is happening over there on the bottom side let's see when it start that one to do like that like pointing as a triangle so from 27 let's try to reduce a bit the input uh, voltage we go only to 600 let's see and try now the frequency to go up more so yeah with the low uh, voltage on the input the frequency at 30 kilohertz is still okay so we can go more up 35 and still running nice let's switch off over here and switch off also here so 
This amplifier is really really good. 10 Hz, just a little bit of voltage down, maybe 1 dB. And 30 kHz, again maybe only 1 dB. So it's probably flat almost from 10 Hz up to 30 kHz. Respond good to the frequency and it's keeping the signals uh, clear. And this transistor, they really was getting really hot. So I think uh, these heat sinks are not enough. Maybe I will gonna find some bigger ones and I'm gonna change them. I'm gonna see. Because anyway, this uh, amplifier is gonna go as a final project. I'm gonna build the power supply. I'm gonna find a nice enclosure for it and definitely I'm gonna make a nice outstanding headphones audio amplifier. If anyone can find me the schematic of this one, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to try to modify it also to make it uh, nice, more powerful with different transistor keeping the same schematic for a more powerful uh, amplifier that you can run to the normal speakers, not only the headphones. Because uh, if I put speaker on this one, I think I, bl I will gonna blow the, the, the final stage of the amplifier, the power transistor, because uh, how it's uh, made the schematic now, it's made it to handle all impedance, maybe not lower than, let's see, 32 ohm like how are the minimum headphones uh, resistance impedance then yeah stay tuned please subscribe activate notification bell to don't miss the next parts of this amplifier as well when i'm gonna build the nice power supply and i'm gonna find the nice enclosure and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a like and until the next video guys have a good day and bye bye